Well, good morning. We always begin our devotional with those words because we're hoping and praying that you'll have a good day, that it'll be blessed to the Lord, and I guarantee you it will be if you walk with Him, allow Him to have His way in your life, regardless of what you may come up against today, any of life's circumstances that may be a little bit uh, difficult or adverse, uncomfortable, I guarantee you that you can still have a good day if you're walking with the Lord because He'll be right there for us regardless of life circumstances or the situation that we might find ourselves in. So you can have a good day. I say good morning and you go out and you have a great day as you serve the Lord. We just finished up last week a little series in our Bible study at church about uh, being filled with the fullness of God. Paul to the church at Ephesus prayed that you might be filled with all the fullness of God. And the Living Bible says that you might be filled up with God himself. You know, God can live within our heart. Aren't you glad that God can live within us? That we can go out and have a God-like character? That uh, because he is holy, we also can be holy? Of course, with limitations of humanity. But nonetheless, we can have such a God-filled life that people will see God in us. And I do believe that that ought to be the desire of everyone. As we talked about being filled with all the fullness of God, we know, of course, that Jesus said that if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. So uh, God and the Father being one, being filled with the fullness of God, we're going to reflect the life of Jesus Christ. I like to think about the life that Christ lived as recorded in the four Gospels of the Bible. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, each one record uh, the life of Christ. And back when I had a large library, I did have a library of over 3,000 books. I'd be afraid to say how many of those books were written on the life of Christ. And uh, we know that uh, the apostles dealt a lot in their writings concerning the life that Jesus lived. And, you know, we have a lot about the life of Christ through the Bible, through the messages that we hear today, because I believe that it's important that we live as he lived. He was given as an example that we ought to walk as he walked. He is given to us as one that we ought to uh, aspire to be like him. Poet said, to be like Jesus, to be like Jesus, my desire to be like him. And you know, I want to be like the Lord. I know that uh, with the help and the grace of God, we can be. But we have to be filled with all the fullness of God. And if we're going to be like Jesus, we're going to live a life of love. He admonished us to, to love our neighbor as ourself. And he know, we know that from his example and his teaching, that we're to love friend, that we're to love foe, that uh, we're to love our enemies and do good to them that despitefully use us. And sometimes that's a little difficult to do, but Lord... Give us more of you so that we can love as he loved. He had mercy and compassion upon people. I know that uh, compassion and mercy are uh, good characteristics in the life of anyone because it seemed like those that uh, display mercy and compassion, they reflect to us the life of Christ. Christ was so merciful. He was so compassionate. His life was so gentle and so kind. I think about the gentleness of the Lord. I think about the kindness that he showed to all men. There was a sweet spirit that did not diminish even when he was persecuted. There was the spirit of Christ that was uh, the spirit of God himself. And I do believe that we ought to aspire to be like Jesus. And the only way that we can really be like him is to be filled with the fullness of God. Songwriter again said, more of you, more of you. All I want is more of you. And that should be the prayer of every Christian today. We might be filled with the fullness of God. That we might reflect the life of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, help us today to empty ourselves of anything that would keep away the fullness of God. Help us, dear Lord, to die out to self. Help us, dear Lord, to just open our heart that you may fill us with your divine spirit. Pray that you'll go with us throughout this day and help us to live as Jesus lived, to love as he lived, loved, and to walk as he walked. 
We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you for letting me share that with you tonight or this day, and I'll see you tomorrow on Lord Likes Devotional. Goodbye now.